Okay, so hey there guys and welcome back to another Makeup and Chill Fridays. If I'm sounding a little bit uh, down or low energy, um, it's because I'm getting over or still in the process of having a cold. So I'm sorry if I sound nasally or um, if my nose is red, but I can't help it. So I'm just going to just jump right in because um, I have to get ready for work and I have to be ready at 2 and... It's like 12.55 right now, so typically it only takes me about 40 minutes now to do my makeup. I wasn't going to sit down and film today. I'm just going to speak like very soft-spoken today. I'm not going to like be really loud. Um, there are some things going on right now. Not anything too serious or anything, um, but I wanted to sit down and film, so um, we're just going to get right to it. So, um, So I basically finished like my first month of school already, which is absolutely insane. Um, I cannot believe that um, September is basically over. Um, I feel like I just went back to school like last week and the fact that September is basically done is kind of insane to me. I'm just going to take the ColourPop powder and just set my eyes. I love this powder to set my eyes. It really is beautiful. <laughs> and just do that and then we'll jump into the makeup so today um I'm pretty much going to be doing um like a full MAC look um I know I've done that before on my channel but I was really inspired by one lippy that I haven't worn in quite a while that I really wanted to wear today I was like oh I should wear that tomorrow and I was like I'm gonna wear it today um so I'm really excited to wear it so it's just a MAC matte lipstick, but obviously I won't tell you guys the shade until the end, because you have to watch to the end. Don't you hate when people do that? I mean, you could just skip to the end if you want. You don't have to watch this video. I talk forever anyway. Okay, so for the eyes, I'm just going to jump into a couple of my MAC single shadows. I actually have been um, using a lot of um, eyeshadows this year week that I've been trying to make progress on hitting pan on. I actually made some progress in my Anas made some progress in my Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. And I actually have hit pan on three shades now. So I've been using that more often to see if I can pan it a little bit more, like at least one more shade this year, but I can't believe I've even panned three shades in that palette this year. Um, and then I also have been using my ColourPop Single Shadows a little bit more often because I want to pan at least two of them, so. Um, but today we're just going to jump into Beaches and Cream for my transition shade, which is just a Makeup Geek shadow. And it's obviously one of my favorite transition shades. Yeah, so school's just flying by, which I cannot believe um, that it's almost October already. So when I told you guys that I could take my certification test this past summer there's actually another test that I can take like you can either take both tests if you want or you can only just you only have to take that one test by like the end of May so I think that's what I'm gonna do because my voucher for this past test that was this summer already expired um, so I can't obviously do that um, now it expired like last month my nose is a little bit dry today because I haven't really been like putting on Vaseline or anything on it. Um, I think it'll be fine. So, yeah. Um, so for my cold, I've been steaming lately. And if you guys don't know what that is, um, it's just like you fill um, like a hot bowl. You fill a, like a big bowl with hot water. And you put like a towel over your head and you just breathe in the hot water. And it just helps like um, congestion or like, you know, like a dry throat because my throat's pretty dry right now. And it really has been helping my nose like clear up more. So I've done it about three times the past two days. I did it this morning because I was feeling uh, stuffy and it really does help like you know, mucus flow and stuff, like, I don't want to, like, be too graphic, but, like, it's not, like, um, I don't have, like, a sinus infection or anything, it's just, like, a common cold, and it's helping, you know, like, 
open up my nose and help me breathe a little bit more rather than like being super stuffed up. So I've been doing that. Um, I started it last night and I did it like twice last night because I wanted to do it before I went to bed and it really helps like relax you before you go to sleep. And I pretty much just like passed out after that. <laughs> I don't know why it took me this long to do that. I'm just going to dip into Soft Brown by MAC and start um, working that in the crease as well. But I don't know why it took me so long to discover that. Because my sister does it, obviously, because she's a singer. And she does it, you know, um, to help her voice. And I don't know if it's really helping my voice that much because my throat's pretty dry right now. But this has actually been the driest it's been today. And, of course, I'm filming. But, you know, because I'm crazy. But, you know, I've just been drinking, like, ridiculous amounts of water. I haven't really been having coffee lately. I feel like, um, I had coffee yesterday, and I haven't really been able to fall asleep until, like, 3 a.m., but I'm always feeling, like, tired and run down anyway, but that's normal when you have a cold, so hopefully when I'm over it, um, I'll feel a little bit better, obviously, but hopefully I'll be able to get back to a normal sleeping hour. Okay, so I put soft brown in the crease, and now I'm going to darken it up more with another shade, obviously. So I'm just going to take um, brown script, this one right here, and I'm going to put that in my crease. <coughs> I would have used, like, the Dose of Colors Baked Brown palette today, or, like, the... Um, <clears throat> Sorry. I like the um, ColourPop Zodiac palette, but I just wanted to go with my MAC shadows today, so that's what we're going with. They just blend so easily. So, in like, basically right now, there's like a palette that launched on ColourPop.com. I think I'm going to order it once I finish my eyes. I actually have been on a complete no-buy this past month, um, and I'm actually going to post a video about no-buys and um, makeup, people that have a problem with people wearing makeup every day. Um, I'm going to post that soon, hopefully. And I saw this really interesting video by um, Spooky Lips and Fat Hips about her problem with no buys and it really inspired me to make my own video um so i haven't really bought any makeup this month um i've only replaced skincare and also just because i can't really afford it but i've been waiting to get this color pop collection so i really want the eyeshadow palette um i just feel like it's been easier for me to try out eyeshadows which is insane but I wear makeup pretty much every day that it's like not like a huge deal if I decide to add like one more eyeshadow palette to my collection because I've just been so good about wearing eyeshadows and stuff. Alright, so now I'm going to take Brown Down, or yeah, Brown Down by MAC and put that on my outer corners. It's right here. Obviously do the same on the other eye. So, when I use my MAC shadows, I tend to skip over this one shade, um, Copper Ring, and I know that, um, Jaclyn always said that, like, Jaclyn Hill always says that, like, Copper Ring was, like, her all-time favorite, um, MAC shadow, but I really want to use All That Glitters today, which is one of my favorites, and I always end up using that every single time I use MAC shadows, because I really want to use a glitter over it. So I think I'm still going to do that. I think the next time I use MAC shadows, I'm going to use Copper Ring. Like, make it my business to use that shadow and not all that glitters. I forgot to grab my glitter primer. I'll be right back. Alright, so I just went ahead and applied the glitter primer off camera. Now I'm going to take the shade All That Glitters and pop that on my lid. So for this series, um... I'm going to try and get them up every Friday. I'm obviously not going to be um, filming and uploading in the same day. I basically am going to be filming 
a week in the past, like a week in advance, and then posting it like the next Friday, because I just posted one last night. Today is the day that I'm filming that I posted my first makeup and chill video. I mean, like, it's just like a get ready with me, but I actually have like a name for it now. Like, I've been thinking about that for a while. I don't know why I didn't start it sooner, but it's like I didn't post them on Friday. So it's like, well, I basically just upload get ready with me's whenever I want to. But, um, I film so many that it's like, might as well just film them like once a week. So usually Fridays I work a later work shift, so that's why I decided to start filming them on Fridays, because it's just easier. And also I don't really have time to film Get Ready With Me during the week, so... <clears throat> Alright, so that's pretty much on. Such a beautiful color. I really just feel like keeping it like that, honestly, because I'm so freaking lazy right now, because... <coughs> but I am just going to pop on Blanc Type on my brow bone. I, just, I feel like I don't really have to show you the shades. It's just a matte white brow bone highlight, so it's not really like that important for me to show it to you. Honestly, do I want to just leave it like that? No, I'm going to apply the glitter because I really want it. Because I want to use like just a couple of things from the Zodiac collection too. So I'm just going to take the ColourPop Supernova Shadow by Kathleen Lights in the shade Constellation. I don't think I've used this on camera yet. It's such a gorgeous um, glitter. And I'm going to pop it over that glitter shade that we just put on. I don't really need a base for this um, shadow, but I just wanted to put on a base today. <laughs> it's so pretty. Look how pretty that is. It's even, like, more pigmented, like, with a base, honestly. That's crazy. And the thing about the ColourPop Supernova shadows is that they dry a hell of a lot faster than the Stila ones. So I'm just fanning off my lid real quick. I did put on quite a bit, so I want to make sure that it's pretty much dry. And I'm going to do the same on this eye. I'm going to just fan that off too. Okay. <clears throat> and that's pretty much it for the eyes for now. Now let's move on to the face. Just want to make sure that that's dry. And I'm just going to take my brush with no eyeshadow on it and I'm just going to um Work that in the crease. Alright, I think we're good for now. Um, I'll add more eyeshadow later if I need to, but I think that's just so pretty. It's just so simple, and I really have been super into popping on just glitters lately because they just add such life to your eyes. Alright, I'm just going to blow my nose real quick because, um, you know, before I put my foundation on. Alright, so while I was off camera, I ordered the um, just the items that I wanted in the Disney collection. I'm not getting everything, I'm just getting, I got the eyeshadow palette, I got two of the lippies, and one lip gloss, and that's it. I was thinking about getting the Super Shock shadows, let me just spray. But I have so many Super Shock shadows already, and I'm kind of just trying to be more practical that I would obviously use the palette a hell of a lot more than the single shadows. Um, and now I'm just going to prime. I primed with the NYX Primer Spray. Now I'm going to use the CoverGirl True Blend Primer. I have been loving this primer lately, you guys. It's the only primer that I've been using. I feel like it's just been making my skin, like, super smooth for foundation. I, this is the only primer I've been using lately. It's just so pretty. 
I think it's really been helping my foundation go on like really smoothly. Um, so yeah, let me, um, so yeah, I got the Ariel and Belle lipsticks, the Luxe lipsticks. I got the Bippity gloss, which is like a clear gold gloss, but I really wanted it. I wanted like a really clear gloss, and it's only six bucks. And then I just got the eyeshadow palette, obviously. So, um, the thing about this collection is it only has six princesses, so it's not like all the princesses in one palette. Like, it's only, like, Tiana, Ariel, Belle, and, um, Jasmine, Cinderella, and Snow White, which is a little bit weird, but I think they're going to come out with a part two, probably, and I'm going to need that palette, too. I'm going to be like, great. And they're probably going to come out with it in, like, a couple of months, probably for holiday. Um, so for foundation, hopefully there's some left in here, but I'm going to go in with my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation, um, just because it's one of my favorites, and... I just want a lightweight foundation today, so dropping tissues everywhere. <coughs> Why not just go in with like my messiest foundation in my room when I have to like pour it out of the bottle? But yeah, there's definitely some left in here, so you can definitely get a full face out of this. Um, I didn't want to use like my MAC foundation because it's just hella too full coverage for me on days where I'm just working like a four hour shift because obviously I just take it right off after work because I'm supposed to see my boyfriend today after work but he hasn't texted me yet but I guess we'll find out um and also if you guys didn't know it's always sunny in Philadelphia started recently so we've been watching that again and we usually watch it together so we're gonna watch that later and also the good place started up um, again, I had no idea until last night because I actually convinced my mom to start watching it and they watched the first two episodes and I think that she likes it. So I'm hoping that she'll start watching it because I'm like, it is so good. I had no idea it was coming back last night. So obviously me and my boyfriend are going to have to watch that later too because he got me to watch that show. He loves it. Um, and I've watched both seasons. They're only 13 episodes, so it's not like it takes that long to get through. Um, so we're gonna watch that later, hopefully. I wanted to tell him to download it before I see him, but he hasn't texted me yet, so I guess I'll let him know before I get there, because it won't take that long to download since it's only, like, a 20-minute episode. Um, see, I'm just gonna buff that on my face. Just very, very light coverage today. Nothing too crazy. Um, so yeah, basically, there's some stuff going on in my job right now. Nothing, like, too insane. I mean, there it's pretty nuts, honestly. Um, our store manager is leaving to go to the city store. And he didn't really tell anyone until, like, a couple of days ago. I, I had no idea until I worked, like, Wednesday night. And <clears throat> we all had, like, a feeling that he was probably going to leave eventually because he's been working in the city pretty much all week. So they want him to be, like, the city store manager. He was a city store manager before, but they want him to work in the city now. Like, he's been in um, our store for, like, three years or something. I don't even know. I don't think it's been that long. He used to be in the Roosevelt Field store, and then they closed the Roosevelt Field store because the rent got way too high, so we haven't had a Roosevelt Field location in, like, a couple of years. <coughs> I don't know the exact time for everything, so forgive me if I'm giving, like, false information. I'm talking about Lucky Brand, by the way, because um, I didn't say the company. If you guys don't remember who I work for, I work at Lucky. Um, and pretty much we're all, like, kind of just wondering, like, what's going to go on with the store now because it's not such a big deal that he's leaving because, you know, people move on to better opportunities all the time. Like, we're not blaming him for that. It's the fact that they didn't look for a replacement at all. We don't have any replacement store manager. No one. And no one is qualified enough. Why is this, like, not putting any product on my neck? Oh, I always forget how beautiful this foundation is. 
I'm trying to rush a little bit more now because I don't have like, I have like 20 minutes left, so I think that should be enough time for me to be done. But yeah, we're all like just a little bit worried because they've been talking about closing our store for a while. I'm not going to say the location to give it away, um, but we're not sure like what's going on right now. Um, so I'm just going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer for my concealer, obviously. Um, I'm going in with a super bougie foundation and then like a super inexpensive drugstore concealer. I have like foundation all over my hands. I think I got most of it off. Um, yeah, we just don't really know. Um, hopefully this will help. Um, because the, the Giorgio Armani didn't add that much coverage, so um, I'm going to conceal a little bit heavier today because this is a super light concealer anyway, but I just want to, I don't know why this is like taking me forever to apply. All right, that's good. Not too much around the nose because my nose is irritated. So, yeah, um... We don't know, like, who they're going to be replacing him with. And they didn't really, like, worry about it. They only, like, are worrying about that they want and that they need an assistant manager at the city store. So we're just like, what the heck? Um, we don't really understand why they're handling it like this. Like, they can't, like, really close our store before, like, the holidays happen because they need to see if we make money because obviously <laughs> that's going to be our busiest time of the year. But they think that we're like a super uh, trafficked store, like we get a lot of traffic, which we really don't. Like, we don't have a high volume of traffic in our store because people aren't always buying all the time. And we attract a different clientele than like Roosevelt Field. Like Roosevelt Field is the busiest, um, like biggest mall on the island, basically. And they see thousands and thousands of people every day. The Whitman Mall does not see thousands of people. It's probably only hundreds of people. Um, <coughs> and there's like a high-end section of the Roosevelt Field Mall. Our mall is a little bit more upscale. They've been, like, upgrading it to be more upscale. But honestly, we don't really have that many upscale stores. We have a lot of department stores. Like, people go to our mall for for Bloomingdale's and Saks and Lauren Taylor and Macy's. Like, we have really good department stores. But <coughs> unless you're going to the Mac store or Sephora in our mall, you're not really going anywhere else. It's also, like, our location in the mall that people don't really know, like, where our store is. Even though we've been there for a while, like, some people walk in and say, I had no idea this store was here. I'm just, like, and some people, like, have been living there, like, their whole lives. Like, I've lived in my town for my whole life, and I, I know every store in our mall because, obviously, that's my mall. Like, I've lived here for 30 years, um... Which I sound so old when I say I've lived here for 30 years, but it's true. Um, but, like, the fact that some people didn't know that our store was here, it's just like, what? Like, do you pay attention to, like, what's in the mall? Like, it's kind of insane when people don't know. Uh, I just find it very ironic that people, like, don't know those things, but some people just don't notice. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to set my under eyes with the ColourPop setting powder. Um, hopefully I can finish on time. It's like almost 1.30 already. I'm like cutting it close today. Um, so yeah, we're a little bit worried. We already knew that we were worried before because, um, you know, he kept on hinting that like our store was going to close at some point, but it's also like our rent is very high as well. I mean, it's Long Island. Long Island is very expensive. And, like, basically, you end up paying, like, half of what you made, like, to your rent in these malls. Like, 
<clears throat> but, you know, we'll see what happens. So I'm just going to um, line my waterline with Costa Riche. I'm not going to smudge anything in my lower lash line just because I really don't have the time. I wish I had a MAC bronzer, but I'm going to contour a little bit today with what I have from MAC. But mostly the face products are going to be MAC, like the powder products, obviously. And then I'm just going to... Oh, my Z palette cracked a little. It's interesting. <coughs> Obviously, if you guys didn't know, I don't support um, Z palette. Um, it's just because I'm not going to throw them out and store them in something else if I already have them. So I'm just going to take nylon from MAC and pop that on my inner corners. Because everyone uses that as an inner corner highlight. Alright, why isn't this one, like, not applying as pigmented? When I went to, um, purchase the palette and stuff, the Super Shock highlighters were already sold out, but I didn't want those anyway. Um, and also two of the lipsticks. Uh, I think it was Tiana and Jasmine, which was very surprising. Because I thought it was going to be the nudes that were sold out first, but the uh, those ones were sold out first. So that was interesting. Um, and then for the mascara, I'm just going to take... I don't even know where my mascara is right now. I'm just going to take the Clinique uh, Lash Power Mascara because I was going to do the... Um, the Monster Big Lancome by Lancome, but um, I just don't feel like using two separate mascaras today because, again, I don't really have the time. This is not really, like... Alright, it looks fine actually. Oh, this foundation always looks so good. Okay. Just wanna fix that real quick. And then we're just going to set my face. Okay, so that's pretty much it for mascara. My tissues are like done right now. Um, and then I'm just going to take the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Powder Foundation. Because obviously I used the foundation. And I'm going to set my face. Wow, powder is literally flying everywhere. Like onto my lap. I never know if this is enough because like I'm hitting such major pan on it it's like okay so we're done with that oh my god I got powder all over my pants it's just powder though so it doesn't really stain um so now I'm going to contour a little bit I'm going to take the MAC powder in the shade sculpt and I'm going to just um like kind of semi contour a little bit um, I'm totally taking the wrong thing, but whatever. Okay, and I'm just going to... So, um, my dad had to have, like, a procedure, like, yesterday. I think he had, like, a bladder stone or something. He's completely fine, so he's just, like, recovering right now. Um, but he had to have a surgery yesterday. Like, my dad had... My mom had to take my... My brother had to take my dad to the hospital, and my mom had um, 
like a field trip that she was going on yesterday. I mean, it wasn't really a field trip because she had to drive herself. So like field trips are usually like, you know, they provide the transportation. She's been taking like this gardening class. So they were all like out of the house at like 730. And of course I was dying from my colds, but I had to walk the dogs. So it took me like an extra 20 minutes to get ready yesterday and I was like super late to class and I almost didn't like show up because I really didn't want to because I really didn't feel good but we had like this super long lab that we had to finish so I was like I'm not gonna abandon my partner but when I showed up he was like oh I don't really need you and I'm just like you know it'd be nice if I had like your number or something so you could have told me that but Whatever. I mean, I'd rather be in class, obviously, but, like, I really wasn't feeling that well. I'm starting to get hungry already. So, we're done with that. <coughs> now I'm just going to do the blush. I'm just going to take Max Margin and Melba and mix those two together, those two shades, which are basically my two favorites. All right, we're almost done. We're almost at the finish line. My mom also finished Jane the Virgin, and we also finished Jack Ryan. It was only one season, and I can't believe I finished that first before I've watched any more Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I have not had the time to watch anymore because I've just been, like, starting new shows with my mom and, like, showing her, like, newer stuff. So I'm so happy that she got through Brook uh Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I'm so happy that she got through Jane the Virgin, and she, like, loves it now. She really loves the show. I'm like, I know, right? <clears throat> and then for the highlight, I'm going to take ColourPop's On the Cusp, which is Kathleen Light's Zodiac highlighter. I'm just going to tap it with my finger first. Kind of just, oh, it's so pretty. Isn't that so stunning? And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. There's so much glitter in it, but I don't care. It's just so gorgeous. And then I'm going to take a brush. And I'm going to wet it with my Milani setting spray. And I'm just going to um, highlight more, obviously. I didn't take my finger for my cupid's bow and my nose. That'd be beneficial, right? Look how pretty that is. I don't think I've used this on camera yet, so I wanted to use it today. And I'm just going to top it with like a MAC highlighter. can't believe I'm cutting it so close, you guys. Like, it's like 135 right now, and I still have to like... I mean, I have pretty much everything ready. I just have to, like, throw food in a bag and go, basically. And then for the topper, I'm going to use Max Light Scapade, the Mineralized Skin Finish. <laughs> I don't use this often enough, so I kind of wanted to use it today. I always go for, um... Uh, soft and Gentle over this one. All right, I think that's all we're going to do. So that's that, and now I'm just going to set my face. And then for the brows, we're just going to take, um, obviously, the L'Oreal Brow Stylist. Just brushing my brows real quick. And then just take the Brow Mascara. Sorry that this is so rushed, but I thought I was going to have more time, but obviously that's never the case. I almost didn't film today because <coughs> uh, I thought I wasn't going to have time, but <coughs> oh, dang it. All right, and then for the lips, I just feel like I'm 
my skin's very moist right now because of the setting spray. I'm just going to work it in a little bit more. Okay, so for my lips, I'm going to do Max Strip Down for my lip liner. I'm so far away. And then for my lipstick, I'm going to take Max Matte Lipstick in the shade Whirl. I haven't used this in forever, and I really wanted to use it today. So that was the basis for the whole reason why I wanted to use Mac today. Oh, look how pretty. So pretty, right? Like I said before, it's like the perfect lip color for someone who wants to like start transitioning to use a dark color. So it's more muted, but it's so pretty. I'm just going to finish it up off camera. All right, you guys, so this is pretty much the finished look. These are the eyes, the cheeks, and the lips. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm hoping to be posting these every Friday. I love you guys. Um, I haven't really been having a super eventful life lately. I've just been at school, work, see my boyfriend on the weekends. It's pretty routine. But honestly, I kind of like that. And also, I'm just trying to hustle to have a career eventually. Hopefully, I'll be able to go out at some point. I'm not going to go out now, obviously, because I have a cold. But we'll see. Um, hopefully, when my um, best friend is in New York again, we'll go out. And also, like, I actually did catch up with Lisa last week to have a drink with her because she was going to Chicago this week. So I'm glad I got to see her. But yeah, that's about it. I have to go to work. So please like and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media. I love you guys. Bye.